am so irritated. I woke up literally 10 minutes ago to this. Do you see it? It's gonna ruin my day. It hurts. <laughs> Last night I felt it coming on, so I used anti-acne treatment acne spot treatment and then when that all dried I took some toothpaste and put it like right there and guess what it's still flared up so this is all this is all bullshit skin ID any hoodle um, happy Wednesday to all of you and to your family and friends as well um, you know what I think I'm in the mood for a mimosa mm -hmm. screw coffee I need a mimosa something better come join me won't you but first things first Gotta take a shower. Play with my dog. Uh, Do laundry. Fun! Okay, and real quick, I recently acquired some art and I need to know which wall to put it on. Help me. Okay, so does it look better here? Yeah? Or here? Let us know down below. So you might be asking, Scott, why don't you just have a mimosa in the morning? Why do you have to do chores first? Well, this way, I do the chores, and then have mimosas, and then Jared comes home, and he's like, oh my god, Scott, you're drunk in the middle of the day. And I can be like, yeah, but look at what all I got done. Win-win. <sighs> okay, so here's what you're gonna need. Orange juice, pulp-free, because you don't want pulp in your mimosa. At least I don't. I like pulp, but just in regular orange juice. So, pulp-free orange juice. Really super classy champagne. This is Andre. It, it's, it's sold for about $4.99. $499. Just kidding. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then you need a glass. And I don't have champagne flutes because I'm... Well, that's ridiculous because how often do you really drink champagne? All right. And now here we go. Pour the champagne in first because it is a um, lighter... And the orange juice will mix itself as, because it's heavier. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can do this any time of the day. Sometimes I make this drink when I'm going to the gym. Nobody asks questions. No. Pour the orange juice in about a 1 to 3 ratio. You know, mostly champagne. So, you know, so it's about like this. And then you just enjoy. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. <sighs> Who drinks coffee? And it's question time. I'm going to try and fly through them because I have about a billion to answer. Mm -hmm. But I have to drink this first. <sighs> Brian and Daniel. First of all, I watched The Tree of Life last week and I hated it. What a pretentious, selfish piece of filmmaking from Terrence Malick. Mm, I'm done. But I loved Melancholia. Very good taste. Somewhat. You want to know who I think will make a big comeback in 2012? I think Mariah Carey is on the verge. She's in shape. She's, you know, had time with her babies. And I feel like she's going to make a huge album comeback. At least I hope. I love her. I also want to know what my favorite YouTube video of 2011 is. Ooh, that was so gross. I got to drink more. Mm. Um, the Chloe um, Sevigny um, videos. If you guys see them, they parody famous actress Chloe Sevigny. And they always start off with... It's recently come to my attention that I love toast, or something like that. It's so funny. I'll post a link. You guys are going to die. Ryan wants to know if we think he can raise $50,000 for his new documentary. I think he can do it. Ryan, you have some of the strongest ambition that I've ever seen in someone, so whatever you say, you can do. I believe in you. And I will even donate some money. Mm -hmm. Roland wants to know what are some of the goals I have for 2012. Well... I would like to figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life, and at this rate, you know, it's just gonna go down the drain. But um, that's my number one goal, so we'll see what happens. Wish me luck! And to answer my question from last week, what is my favorite movie of 2011? It's a tie between Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris, so good, go rent it, it's out now, um, and Scream 4. I'm a huge Scream fan, and the fourth one was really, really good. And now it's time for my brand new segment, Ask Scott. 
If you weren't here for last week, um, you can leave a comment down below asking me a question about anything, and next week I'll pick three questions to answer, live, or not live, you know, whenever you're watching it, and I pick three. So here we go. Totally Bubbles Ducky asks, am I excited for the Hunger Games? Um, you have no idea. I read them all really fast this past year, and I was obsessed. I felt like a little 12-year-old girl, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I cannot wait to see the movie come March, whatever. The trailer looks so good. <laughs> Nikki Yam Forever, I think that's how you say it, wants to know if I do drag, and if I do, have I ever been entered in any contests, or have I won any? Um, yes, I've done drag, but only in Ryan James Yezik's videos. Visit his personal YouTube page, slash Ryan James Yezik, um, and, um, you'll see several of them that I've done before, so I don't like doing, like, public live shows or anything like that. It's just not for me. And so, no, I've never won any contests except for, you know, just being generally amazing. <laughs> Elt Mayer, I have no idea if that's how you say it, wants to know what my favorite book of 2011 was. It's a tie between all of the Hunger Games books on my Kindle, which I read them on, and Tina Fey's Bossy Pants. So funny. Loved it. I love books. And you should too. Bonus question, because I failed to answer it last week. DDDPPPDDD1 asks, who in the hell was my secret Santa? And I forgot to tell you guys. I thought it was kind of obvious, though, so I, I guess that's why I didn't say it. It was Miles. Yay. I love you, Miles. Mwah. Dirty. All right. So my question for you guys is, um, when, when do you think it's okay to drink during the day? Like, any time of the day? Any day? Like, is it always okay? You just let me know down below. Oh. Ooh, girl, it's kind of hard to drink really fast carbonated stuff. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.